Good morning, children. Welcome to online class. In today's class, we are going to discuss exercise 1.4, children. Exercise 1.4. Children, from exercise 1.4, we are going to do all the problems, children. In that exercise 1.4, the first sum is write some daily life situation where we can use large numbers children. What is it? Write some daily life situation where we can use large numbers. Children, you can say simply where we use large numbers children in banks. In banks, sir, we deposit a huge amount of money and if we want to withdraw the cash, so we need to get a large amount of cash children or large amount of amount, large amount and a part of that first one in banks children, in banks, in banks, means from banks we will get the huge amount of withdrawal money and in population census, in population census, what is population census? You know, for every 10 years or 5 years, there will be a survey, population census survey. Then, what is the total population of our country? There is survey, understand? Right now, you know that. What is the population of India? More than 130 crores. It is nearer. It is nearer to 140 crores children. So, in population census, we will use large numbers. We will use large numbers children. And for one, where do we use these large numbers? For measuring large amount of volumes. Q6. In Q6. What is Q6? You know our mega from direction. That is a reservoir. And a lot of water is stored in that reservoir. If uh, the gates are open, a huge amount of water will be released from that reservoir. So that amount uh, which was released is measured in Q6 children. That is nothing but a large, a large number, a value of large numbers we use in Q6. It means many, lot more we use other children, especially in banks, in population sensor and uh, in Q6 children. Understand? We can, apart from this, we can use large numbers in many situations. In our daily life, many situations we use large numbers children. And right now, this is the second one. Children, a box of medicine. There is a box and in that box there are medicines. You don't know how many medicines first of all, but they say it contains 3 lakh medicines. Box of medicines that contains 3 lakh medicines, children. 3 lakhs tablets and each weighing 15 mg. And each weighing, what is weighing? The weight of one tablet is 15 mg. You know what is mg? Milligrams, children. So, what is the total weight? What is the total weight of the all the tablets in the box? Children? What is the total weight of all tablets in the box? They said to find in grams and in kilograms. They given each tablet weight is 15 mg. And you need to find out the entire medicine. It's three lakh medicine, sir. Value you have to find in grams as well as kilograms. Okay, children. Note down the problem. First of all, each Weight of weight of weight of each tablet weight of each tablet is 15 mg 15 milligrams and you need to find out per 3 lakh medicines. So 3 lakh into 15. What is the value children? We like into 15. Simple children. 15. 15 into 3. How much? 45. 
and you leave, you write the remaining value means zero. You write the remaining zeros as well as I said. So you will get the value as 45 lakhs. It's 15 into 3 or 3 into 15, whatever it may be, but the value is 45. You need to write the remaining zeros as well as I said. Okay. Weight of each tablet is 15 mg and for 3 lakh tablets it is 45 lakh mg children. Okay, we got mg value. Then what they said is they said to find the weight in grams and kilograms. Understand children? Okay. Grams. 1 gram. 1 gram equal to 1000 milligrams children. 1 gram equal to 1000 milligrams. So, for this 45 lakh mg, you should be converted into grams means you have to write like this. 45 lakh mg by 1 gram is equal to how much? 1000. So, get the value 1000 here. So, cancel it. 3 zeros cancel. And 3 zeros are cancelled. What's the remaining value? 45, 4500, 4500 by 1 equal to 1500. This is the gram student, 4500 grams. And they said again to find that in the kilograms. So, children, are writing here, children. They asked them you to find out in kilograms. Okay, you know that one kg equal to how many grams? 1000 grams. So, you get the value 4500 here, 4500 by 1 kg equal to 1000 grams, no? So, 1000 to this here, 2 zeros cancel, 2 zeros cancel, 45 by 1, then 45 by 10 children. Here, in the denominator, the value is 10, so it will be moved. 1 decimal point of the children. So you can write like this 4.5 4.5 kg children. So how can we convert it to 4.5? I will say the shortcut as a children. So here denominator is there. What is that? 10. So there is the value as divided and 45 here. Children can put the 40. Remaining value how much? 5. And keep a decimal point here. If add 0 here, then 5 sir, 50, so the remainder will be 0, the question 4.5 children. Understand children, like this you need to convert the weight of the tablets into grams as well as kilograms children. This is the value for grams, 4500 grams and 4.5 kg. Understand children? Children, the third problem. Damodar wants to buy onions in Karmul market. Means Damodar wants to buy the onion, onions in Karmul market. Each onion that weighs 45 kgs. So that each one, one onion bear weight is 45 kgs children. He loaded 326 onion bags with 45 kgs. Means the weight of one bag is 45 kgs. So he loaded 326 onion bags in a lorry children. So find the total weight of onions in kilograms and quintals. They asked you to find out the weight of the onion bags in kilograms as well as quintals children. So solution is like this. To the weight of one onion bag. Weight of one onion bag. How much children? 45 kgs. 45 kgs. Children. And he loaded 326 uh, onion bags into a lorry. So 326 into 45 kg. Children. Multiplication. 5 6 uh, 30. 5 2 uh, 10, 10 plus 3. 13. 1 here and 3. 5 3 is 15, 15 plus 1 16 and 4 6 is 
24, 4 2s are 8, 8 plus 10, and 4 3s are 12, 12 plus 1, 13. 0, 7, 6, 4, 1, 3 3s are 326 backs on here with, with 45 changes is equal to 1670 changes children. Understand children? 14,000. 670 cages. This is a total 326 uh, on in bags weight children. I asked you to find out in kilograms. So you got kilograms weight 326 bags of on in into 45 cages. Got 14,670 children. Then you need to find out in quintals. So then 1 quintal. 1 quintal equal to how many cages children? 100 cages. 1 quintal equal to 100 cages children. So bring this value 14,670 by 100 cages. Why we are writing 100 cages? Because they asked you to find out in quintal. So 1 quintal equal to 100 cages. So bring the 100 in the denominator space So 0, 0 cancel. Remaining value 14,000. 1467 by 10 children. So there are one decimal point. If it moves one decimal point, you will get the value as 146.7 children. 146.7 with a symbol. Again, I will say how to this is in the fractional form. You need to convert into decimal form. This is the value children. 146.7 quintals is the answer. So how do you find? How do you find? I will say again the shortcut. Children, it is a 10. So it is a given and 140, 1467 is advisor. So children, 10 one sir. And remaining value for let's see here. So 10 four sir, 40, remaining 60. Many children, 60 children. Other ten children, 10 four sir, 10 one sir, 10, and the remaining two values 4. I am getting 6 to down. So 40 is the value. 10 four sir, 40. Remaining will be 6 children. So get the 7 value down. 10 six sir, 60, and there will be remaining 7 children. So here the value is 7, so I am taking a decimal point, so I am taking decimal point, so I can add 0 to this 7, so it will be 70 children, so 10 7 sir, 70, the remainder value is 0 children, so what is the quintal value 146.7 quintal children, 146.7 quintal is the answer, answer children. Thank you children. We will discuss uh, next a few questions, next few problems in the next class. Thank you.